In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install MacTex on your Apple computer. I've already released a video before on how to get started with VS Code on Mac. In that video, I show you how you can compile a LaTeX document inside VS Code, which I think is a great tool. And I show you how to install MIK text. However, many of you have faced some issues while trying to use MIK text. Today, I want to show you how to use the official Mac text, and then this is going to solve all the problems. As you can see, on the right side of my screen, I have a very simple LaTeX document, and I'm trying to compile this with the Visual Studio Code. If I press play here, I get an error message because of course I don't have any latex compiler on, installed on my computer. So let's fix that. So we can do a very simple Google search or we can go straight to latex-project.org um, for slash get. And inside here we can scroll down and we can see that for Mac OS they suggest to use Mac text. So we just click here and then here at the top, we can do the full download. I'm going to do the full download simply because this will contain all the latex packages. So once we install this one, then we don't have to worry about anything else. However, one downside of this approach, and that's why I was using MIK text before, is that this distribution is very big. So we are going to have to download four gigabytes of data. So let me start the download because it's going to take a few seconds on my computer. So I'll click on that and now I click here MacText.package. And as you can see, they say that it works both on ARM and Intel machines. If I go back here, there is also another option. If you want to have a smaller package, you can also go with the basic text, which has a smaller download. Great, the download was actually completed, so I can click here, and this is going to open the installation. So let me bring it here on the screen. So we can see that we are installing MacText, the distribution of 2022. This is exactly what we want. And then we can press on continue, continue on the license, and we have to agree with the license. Then we uh, can say that we're going to install it. And again, be mindful about this because it depends on your hard disk size, but this is going to take eight gigabytes of space. So unfortunately, it's going to take a bit of space on your hard drive. I hope you have this space available. Otherwise, just go for basic text. And then we press on install. Here I just have to enter my password. And this is going to install the software. In the meantime, while we wait for it to be installed, is a good time for you, if you can, just to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me and it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So you can support this channel by simply liking the video and subscribing to my channel. If you want, and uh, you find this, the content of this video useful, you can also support me by donating a couple of dollars, by buying me a coffee. Alternatively, you can support me on Patreon. More information on how to do that down in the video description below. Also, if you want to learn more about LaTeX, I have more than 45 videos on YouTube about LaTeX. So if you have any type of question you want to see how to add figures, tables, export tables from Python, or more, or also just how to get started with LaTeX, just check my YouTube channel and I'm sure you will find some useful videos over there. Great, the installation was successful, so we can just click here on close. And then we can move to bin the installer of MacText. Now that the installation is completed, let's just go and open the application and we can see here text shop. We can click on this one and this is basically one IDE that we can use to compile a LaTeX document. So we can just copy this text here just to make sure that everything is working. 
So we just have to save the file. We are going to save it in uh, to downloads. And we press on OK. And this has created our document. As you can see now, we can we have our document and we can say add more text and then we can just click here on typeset and this is going to recompile the document for us. So great, the last thing that I want to show you, which again is not the scope of this video, but I want to show you how that how you can compile the document also inside the Visual Studio Code. And that's very simple if you have already Latex Workshop installed it on inside VS Code. If you don't, please check my other video on how to do so. But basically, we can open VS Visual Studio Code here. And if you had it already open, you have to close it before you try to rerun the document, otherwise you're going to get an error message. But then we can just press play here. And this is actually compiling the document, as you can see. And now we have the main.pdf file, which is generated. And here we can see more text. And then again, this is going to compile automatically. And we see more text here. I really hope you find this video useful. Again, if you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And also consider supporting me on Patreon or on Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next video.